10 rounds this one and the winner will hopefully get a chance to face Spencer Oliver for the European Super Bantamweight crown. So, Michael Aldis then in the white and black against the 32-year-old Louis Mancini. Four defeats on his card as well. Three of them, my apologies, two of them were in French title fights against the same man. Three times he's fought Reda Abbas. First time he lost on points, the second time he lost on points, and in his last fight, he won a technical decision when Abbas was cut in the sixth round. The only other loss, by the way, on Mancini's record was in his professional debut, which was back in 1992. So, can the 32-year-old from France upset Michael Oldis? Uh, coming up for 29. He's also been out of the ring for nine months. Now, for all this now. I mean, it's quite a step up to come straight back in in a 10 rounder against a um, seasoned pro like Mancini. Yes, and that smoke still drifting over the ring. Maybe it's the bright fog coming in from the beach. Yes. Cantwell, doesn't he? Mancini? Yeah, a little bit taller. He's only got the same hairstyle. Actually, he looks a lot younger than he's 32 years. It certainly does. You've just got to wonder what that tough fight against your man Paul Ingle has done to all this. Not only in terms of. Uh, knocking the edge off his ability but he also has confidence yeah but I mean if he need any incentive to get back and win a fight this is it because he knows that he could get a crack at um, European title fight after this and he's always told me he's much more comfortable at Super Bantam Week than at Featherweight that's a fair right from Mancini It's a very good round of boxing. And, you know, hopefully, we're going to get another nine rounds like that. So there's Aldis then. And I remember Mickey Aldis, of course, winning the Southern Counties Championship as an amateur down this way. At Seaford, I think it was. Here we are, better replay. That's a fair right hand from Mancini, but took a left hook. Something wrong with the ring card, girl, Frank. What, the way she's, she's dressed. Walked, the way she's walking or the clothes she's got on. She's dressed. So unusual for a show where you're involved. I've got to say, Jess Harden appointed her, not me. <laughs> Beats Eric Guy walking around with that machine. Sure Maybe she takes some fast of the clothing off as the rounds go on. Let's hope so. So round two then of the scheduled ten round eliminator. Then in the white and black shaven skull. And if, you know, assuming that Michael Aldis wins this one, Frank, has he, is he capable of giving Spencer Oliver a good fight at Super Bantam? Um, you know, he's strong, he's determined. I mean, as I say, Ingles, he went 11 rounds, but Billy Harden, I think he went to 12 rounds with the lost on points. So, yeah, he's a strong fighter. But, you know, it worries me that he had to take a pound and a half of him yesterday. Oh, 
right then from Mancini. generally provide all of the excitement you get some very good quality boxing down at the low weights yeah I was just thinking actually looking at that I thought to myself what a difference it is watching a few of the smaller weights and a lot more skill and um, technique being used in like two big guys just going in there from um, lever at each other well looks like Michael Aldis is going to up the pressure as this one goes on Carly Carruda signaling to him to keep it up to keep advancing, but Mancini responding quite well here. Mancini, he definitely just come out to say earlier on to fill out all his record. And this will be his last chance, of course, at the age of 32. It's uh, all or nothing, really, isn't it? There's a good left hook by Mancini. opportunity and that's going to count against him isn't it um it depends he may feel more comfortable at least he hasn't had to die to make the weight So welcome back then to Brighton and uh, of course Brighton a very international town on the uh, southern coast of uh, oh. uh, every other building seems to be an English speaking establishment for foreign students. So round three then let me remind you in the white trunks Michael Aldis and Crawley against the Frenchman Louis Mancini and uh, something of a dubious pleasure, Frank, to win this one and go on and face Michael, uh, sorry, Spencer Oliver. I mean, <laughs> that's not, not really a reward, is it? Well, you know, everyone wants to fight for titles and everyone, every fighter believes they can beat um, everyone. So, you know, it's what, they, it's what when you start out in your pro career you aim for. I believe Spencer Oliver's sitting at ringside actually watching the fight. That's 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 yeah. Not hard to miss, is he? Well, wherever Jess is, Spencer is. I mean, together they've done a very good job. Jess has done a good job in his PR in Spencer, and Spencer's responded to everything. And it's become quite a name in the boxing circle now. I was all as I would keep it at long distance. Um, he's definitely getting the best response at long distance, and the Frenchman likes to stay in close and gets yeah. his best work in close. And referee Richard Davis, they're just warning the French corner. I didn't know Richard could speak French. He barely speak English. You never know these taxi drivers, what they can <laughs> do. That's a good bloke.
that's a nice little right. This is a very interesting Sealy. round. I mean, there's there's nothing to separate these two boxers from each other. They're both standing there, and they could actually fight this in the telephone booth at the moment. Yeah, it's another good round. A speck, a speck of blood there from Aldous's right nostril. And so this trench has been pretty effective. Good left hook there by Aldous. But once again, the Frenchman comes back strong. Nice rhythm between these two now. Oh, good shot by the Frenchman. A good right hand. There's not much in this round. I would got, if I had to find a winner as like the, the major organisations like you to find, I would have just shaded the French one a little bit there. Okay, I'll go along with that. 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 Three rounds. He's very confident sitting there in the corner. His eyes are fixed straight ahead of him at Michael Williams. We've got a dead square for three gold. And uh, as you know, we have said that we're now oh. the point scoring system in Britain. I'd also like to see another change introduced. And that is for ten rounds and above, a referee and two independent judges. The one thing I'd like to see in English boxing is if the referee deducts points, which he doesn't indicate to people, it would indicate because then you'd have a clear, uh, especially um, in the last screws away um, Commonwealth title defence. Yes, I couldn't agree more. It's down four, but against Bob Norton, and uh, Norton looked to most observers to have won, but the referee had in fact deducted points uh, without informing the crowd, which of course British referees don't, but I think they should make it make more of it. A good start to oh, oh, goodness me. That's a lovely left hook. And that was against the run of play. Wasn't it, Jack? He's in trouble. He's, out. He's in big trouble. It's all over. It's all over. Oh, shame for Michael Aldis. So superb win then for the Frenchman. Michael Aldis beaten in four rounds by Louis Mancini. What a lovely shot that was. A left hook followed by a glancing right. In fact, the punch was so quick. Watch this, here we go. Aldis, in fact, as you say, Frank, was on top. Bang, lovely left hook, look at that. It was definitely against the runner play, but I mean, certainly Philip Fondu is becoming a man of wins over here lately. He's got it, he stopped. <laughs> well, very impressive finish there. And, you know, this little Frenchman, giving his credit, Frank, he took his lumps, stayed with it, kept punching away. And, uh, and found a left hook to win. Well, he's definitely put himself in the pictures for um, for a, a fight with um, Spencer Oliver. You have down to stop the contest. Michael Aldis, unfortunately, being in no position to defend himself. Your winner, Louis Mancini. And the irony is that um, the champion, the European champion, Spencer Oliver, has left this seat. Well, no, he's in the ring, actually. Jess has done another little PR job here. He's making Spencer make a presentation to the French fighter. Well, that's interesting. With your boss in there as well. In the ring, we've got special presentations for these young men. To present the winning trophy is Jean-Philippe Lusty from Eurosport. And also in the ring, the current European producer, Jean-Philippe Lusty, presenting a trophy. It's a very nice gesture to the winner. That's Louis Manc Mancini. And Michael Aldis got a trophy also from Spencer Oliver, which is an engraved plaque. And I think that's a really nice gesture. I'd like to see more of that in British rings.